Hey guys, Wester here. Hey listen, um, it's pretty gusty outside, it's pretty, it's pouring down the rain etc. So um, I thought, well, I might as well do a bit of maintenance and I thought, well hang on, I haven't done it for a while. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to maintain your uh, one-way bearing system your, um, in your, in your uh, main gear assembly. Uh, one thing not to do do not, I'll see if I can find it, no, 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 it's not here. Do not use grease on your one-way bearings. Um, basically, it um, jams up the little valleys in the rat roller and it um, causes them to seize. Um, I found that out the hard way because I thought this one-way bearing here was, just, was damaged. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos. But it's actually, I actually managed to free it up, and what it was, was because I thought I was doing the right thing, putting grease in it, you know, good lubrication, put some grease in it, uh, turned out to be the wrong thing to do, so, um, don't do that, <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so I'm going to show you how to actually maintain your, your one-way bearing system. So what we'll do is we'll hook onto the heli now. I've got my 600 down here. I'm just going to stand her up for a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop the ball joints off on the swash. Just three of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide the head off. It only takes a couple of minutes to do this anyway. Um, lean it on its side again. Scroll in so you can see what's going on. Alright, I'm just going to undo this, um, the bottom screw. Pull the bolt out. Um, tip it back up again. Take the head off, move your um, blade retainer, slide your head up, like so. Um, and while you're there, you can put a couple of drops of uh, one one way or three in one oil on your um, main gears, bearings. Drop a bit in the hole for this one. Just so that you, then you know that they're getting so and then we're, we're going to slide the gear out like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, center out of the, out of that bearing. So form along those pliers. This here should come out quite easily. Alright. And then what you do is um, I've got that apart now so is get some Um, brake clean and we're going to give that a bit of a spray to get all the any foreign material like pretty much saturated in spray to get the foreign material out so I'll just be back in a second okay so I'm just going to use some brake clean just a normal brake cleaning product um, I'm going to get down here so you can see what's going on right down the bottom here And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray right into the material here, straight into the okay, just decent burst. Same with the other end. Okay, and then I'm going to wipe that off. 
Give it a blow out. And that's clean the then give the um, the actual shaft itself a bit of a blast as well. And then we'll let that blow that off as well. Okay, so that's cleaned it out. We should be able to put this in here. And that's dry as you can hear it in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a couple of drops of 3-in-1 um, oil. You can use transmission oil. But a couple of drops in there. And then put your uh, put it back in there. Put your um, assembly back together again, making sure that, that you keep your your um, washer, spacing washer in the top there. Put it back in. Line it all back up again. So your holes all lined up, and then put it back together again. So we're just going to slide this in with the the uh, bolt insertion hole that way, so we can see it. Like right, so. Put our shaft back in. Lining it up with the bottom. It can be fun putting put it in on, in with the blades on too. So sometimes it's easier to um, do that without. Sometimes if you push it, that's it. Just tip it on the side again. Oh, I'll um, I'll get the. I'll screw it in from the side. Sometimes you need to rotate the um, unit around a bit so that you can see it. Don't do that too tight either because you've got um, a nylon nut on on here and you don't have to worry about um, so you should be able to it should turn the motor one way and the other way it should be nice and free which it is okay so that's all good actually I'm not happy with those blades one of them's a bit loose so I'm just going to tighten up one of these blades in the blade grip it's a little bit too loose just a fraction Once every 10 or 20 flights, and you should have a maintenance free or crash free from a issue from that. Alright, cool. Um, this is Westy over and out. Thanks for tuning in.